Anybody there? Hello? Oh. Okay. I think it's on. Uh, this is a new undertaking for me. I was a blogger back when blogs were a thing. And now I'm going to try my hand at being a vlogger. Now that vlogs are a thing. And I am getting older, so this might be my last chance. I don't know if the next og thing, whatever that may be, is going to be something I can bring on board into my brain. In fact, I'm not really sure what I'm doing with this right now. Um, if you don't mind, I'm going to knit while we talk. Do you want to see what I'm knitting? I, I, I should talk about that, right? That's This is supposed to be a knitting vlog, or well, a vlog that will have some knitting in it. I won't be knitting all the time, but I'm knitting right now. Let's see. Um, it's nothing too fancy. Uh, I, I'm doing a sideways linen stitch scarf. There you go. Yes, you see? Uh, and, um, you know, maybe I'll do a how-to video on these because they're awfully comforting. They're, they're, they're challenging uh, in their own way because they sort of take a long time or it feels like they take a long time, but really when you get right down to it, they are mindless. If you know how to read your knitting and you know what you're looking at, they're so mindless. And, and for the first time in my life, 2020 has been the first year when I really felt like I needed something mindless to knit. You know, I'm, I'm usually a complexity kind of knitter. I, I, I like lace, I like stranded color work, I, I like techniques usually that make your brain spin while you're knitting. That's what I prefer. Endless acres of garter stitch usually just doesn't do anything for me. And then along comes 2020 and boy did my tune change. Um, this was a thing I picked up literally because I was so dead tired, exhausted, and confused. I didn't even have the energy to go looking for a pattern. And it's it's not like I don't have a bookshelf full of patterns, uh, but I, I couldn't even, I couldn't even get up and go to the shelf. I just wanted to knit something. And honest to goodness, I, uh, I picked up a set of US fours. In my house, you are never more than an arm's length from a US four knitting needle because this is what I, seem to go to all the time. And there were two balls of Noro sock yarn in different colorways sitting in stash. And I remembered how to do this linen stitch thing. And I had just used it for the first time in a long time in a Dolores project. More about Dolores down in the comments if you're interested. Um, I had just finished a project for Dolores, her suffragist outfit. Um, and it has linen stitch used in it as her votes for women's ash. And I thought, I can handle this right now. I can, I can do this whenever I feel like my brain is coming undone and is going to fall out of one ear. Then I can pick this up. And I'd never felt that way before. You know, I actually did not ever take comfort in simple repetitive knitting, even in times of huge crisis, when my mother was dying, for example. At that point, I, I remember what I was working on while we were keeping vigil over her, and it was lace. That's, that's the sort of thing calmed me down. So it's very odd, it's very odd that this year and the things that have happened this year by upsetting, I suppose, the schedule and the way of living that I was used to. I don't know if it's accurate to say this, but sometimes it really feels like it's rewired me. And uh, I think that's fair to say, actually, if it's fundamentally changed the kind of things that I pick up as comfort knitting. I'm still doing uh, complicated things, complex things. I'm still doing them, uh, but they're not my comfort right now. The, the buttons that I need to be pushed in my brain when I need to calm down, they're, they're in this. So, is that, is this what I do? Is that, just, I just talk to you for a while and then hope that some of this makes sense? I think um, I'm going to leave it for now. Uh, and I will, um, I'll check and see if I've said anything that's worth posting. And if I have, then I'll post it. And if you think it's worth my posting, then you'll watch it and we'll repeat.
from Asterisk. And if it looks like this is something that's good for you and good for me, then we'll keep going. So thank you, um, hypothetical people that I have been nattering to uh, here from the workroom. Um, I hope wherever you are, hypothetical person, that your day has been better than you thought it was going to be. My day has been better than I thought it was going to be, and I hope that's the same for you, whatever day it is that you are hypothetically watching this hypothetical person. So, um, yes, I think this is the part where I stop. Do I stop now? I think this is where I stop.